Welcome to the 99's Flying School Student Training Video 1. Let's look at pre-flight external checks before startup for a Cessna 150, 152 and 172. Remove the chocks and the pilot cover from the plane. Then do a quick walk around the plane to check for any leakages, any form of structural damage and make sure the baggage door is locked and secure. Make sure the static vent is clear and not blocked. Then switch on the master switch, put on the landing lights, navigation lights, taxi lights and beckon, then lower the flaps fully. Let us do a more detailed check on our plane now. We will start with the starboard side. Check and make sure all the navigation lights are working properly. Go back to the cockpit and switch off the master switch to simply save on battery. Let's check the flaps. Check if it's secure. Then let's check the aileron. Make sure it's free and secure. Make sure this joint has some slight movement. Let's then check the main wheel tire. This wheel has been paired to streamline the plane. But for a wheel which is not covered, check the brakes. Make sure it's not leaking anywhere on the pipes. Check the brake disc and make sure there are no scratch marks. Make sure it's well inflated. Check the crimp mark and make sure the tire is aligned to the rim. Check the fuel quantity. Sometimes your fuel instrument in the cockpit is faulty. To make sure it's not, use a dipstick, open the fuel cap and dip it to the bottom of the tank. Remove it and check the quantity. Fasten the fuel cap and make sure it's secure. Then using the fuel strainer, Drain some fuel from the tank to check for any form of impurities. Impurities in this sense is bubbles or dirt. Let's now go to the nose of the plane. Open the engine compartment and check the oil. Make sure it's above 6. Come to the front of the plane and check the propeller and spinner. Make sure there are no cracks. Check inside the engine compartment and make sure there are no bird's nests or even bats. Check the alternator belt and make sure it's fixed and has no cuts on it. Then using the fuel strainer, drain some fuel from the engine to make sure it's not contaminated. Check the wheel strut and tire and make sure the shock absorber has a good moving distance. Lastly, let's check the tail section. Check the elevators and make sure they are free and moving. Check the trim tab. Make sure the bolts are secure. Then check the rudder. It should be secure and moving on both sides. You're done with your external checks. On part 2, we will go through the internal checklist before the startup. Thank you for watching and welcome to 99's Aviation School where we make real African pilots. For more about 99's Aviation, check out our Facebook page or log on to 99flying.com.